Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed over to Hungary for the Tojaskrem, uh, which is like a egg salad sandwich. Uh, I am following a recipe from BudapestCookingClass.com. Hopefully I'm doing it right. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Let's get into it. First thing we have to do is mash up some hard boiled eggs. Then we add in room temperature butter, sour cream, sliced green onions, fresh ground black pepper, and salt to taste. Now we put that on the bread. I'm using a little mini baguette I got at the store. Okay, let's give this toyas creme a go. It's an egg salad sandwich, but instead of mayonnaise, you've got sour cream and butter, so it is significantly richer. Um, you're also getting a little bit of a tang from the sour cream that's playing off the green onions really nicely. I think it's pretty tasty, but I do want to close it up with two things. I'm gonna add some fresh capers and fried capers. And on go our fried capers. Okay, let's give this toyas creme a plus up with fresh capers and fried capers a go. So you're getting the pickly pop from the fresh capers, and then you're getting kind of a salty, crunchy bite from the fried capers. Going really well with the egg, going really well with the butter, and of course the sour cream. All right, so the original Toya scrum was tasty. It was really rich though. I can see why this is not like a full-blown sandwich, because it might be a little bit much. Um, but it is delicious, and I would say as an egg salad sandwich goes, probably about an eight. Plus up with the fresh capers and the fried capers, that's like an eight and a half easily. Delicious, definitely gonna finish that. That is tasty, I am definitely gonna finish that. Uh, and I would make this again, but I'd probably make it as like an hors d'oeuvre or a snack to pass around at a cocktail party because it is pretty rich. Um, definitely would make it with both the fresh and fried capers though. That is a nice little plus up. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.